I am at Tice Valley Gym in front of artist Nigel Sussman's mural, which is the newest public art project going up in the city of Walnut Creek. From the street, passerbys might just notice the color at first, some movement, what has gone from a big gray wall has been totally transformed. As you get closer to the mural, you will see the real treat, which is all of these different Walnut Creek landmarks that you might be able to identify, different characters, people, and pets that you see in Walnut Creek, uh, local floral and fauna. The artist has just done a tremendous job. You could stand here all day long and keep seeing new things. This artwork is going to get a lot of wow from the community. People are really going to enjoy this work here. It's super fun and um, something for everyone. Lots to see. You can even come see if maybe you can find yourself in this mural. I'm standing in front of an in-progress mural that I've had the honor to be commissioned to create for the city of Walnut Creek and uh, we're getting on the final stages here, but the painting is a big stylized map of the region, um, depicting the whole the city and up to Mount Diablo and, and the surrounding areas and trying to capture the character in a fun and whimsical way. So when I make a piece of site-specific art like this, it's important to me that it fits in the environment in a natural way rather than me just uh, imposing my vision upon the, the space. It's more, it's a collaboration with the local community and environment. We did go through a process of outsourcing ideas from the community to help influence this map, but it's geographically inspired and, and includes things from all different lists of things that people felt were important about their community and about um, and through my own personal experiences with the community. Living in the Bay Area for 20 years and nice to see people's reactions and get ideas uh, for input and, and uh, reinforcement on, on the things that they do see uh, resonate with them as being uh, positive and uh, typical experiences in this area. Um, and if I get the reaction when people uh, smile and, and say that it makes them happy. And it's, also, it's had its desired effect. Already have kids come and looking and, tr and uh, trying to find specific objects. The, this style of piece is it's essentially a giant seek and find illustration. This type of work is indicative of what I typically like to do and I've always been attracted to this busy, um, it's called a Wimmel Builder, is the G German word for art that's specifically like this. Um, it's like uh, Where's Waldo, or Martin Hanford, the creator of Where's Waldo, has always been a, a big influence of mine for, since I was young. And I've had the privilege and ability to, to make it nice and big, which is especially gratifying to be able to share with, with a, a lot of people.